What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to show you guys an open source application called SniffNet. Now, SniffNet is a powerful yet user-friendly application that allows you to track and analyze all the internet traffic passing through your system in real time. And with SniffNet, you can easily select your network adapter and apply filters to focus on specific aspects of network activities. Its intuitive interface presents you with an overview of all current network connections, complete with a convenient traffic rate graph to help you analyze the flow of data. Now, whether you're a curious user wanting to know more about your network connections or a seasoned Linux enthusiast seeking depth insight, well, SniffNet has you covered. So let's hop over to the Git page so I can show you guys a little bit more about the application and then I'll go ahead and get it installed. That way you can get a little bit more information so you can check it out for yourself. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm at the GitHub page. And of course, I always had a link down in the description of the video, but this is SniffNet. And as you can see, they have a website is SniffNet.net. So I open that up as well. But it says application to comfortably monitor your internet traffic. That's the purpose of this application. Uh, it's open source, it has Apache 2.0 license, as well as the M MIT license. It says found for both. Uh, a lot of people have stored this project you know what i'm saying people are contributing to it you see uh the forks and all that stuff so uh it's a pretty awesome application and then also uh the person that built it has a patreon so if you want to support you know the actual project you can support him uh open source being you know it's free open source you don't have to pay for it so you can use this and so everything he makes off of this application is a donation pretty much and so if you want to donate to the project then definitely check out his patreon you know or if you can code then it's a great way to kind of add to the application now i know this application is written in the rest programming language as you can see this is the image of it or whatever uh you can go down there's some screenshots of what the application look but i'm gonna show you guys that you know all once we get it installed you know what i'm saying you can see pretty much everything uh, about the application when i show it to you on the website but it says it's completely free open source which needs lots of effort and time to develop and maintain so yeah that's definitely why i want to you know say hey check out his patreon if you want to you know support the project because it's an awesome project you know what i'm saying he not paying me or anything ain't nobody sending this to me i found this on my own uh so nobody has given given me any motivation to show off this application at all now, if we go down a little further, there is the installation process. You could do it multiple ways. Uh, there's a GitHub release. As you can see, they got dev packages, RPM packages. You know, it's all dependent on the operating system as well as a Windows package for 64 bit 32 Mac. And here are those packages not right here, you know, uh, for the dev package and the RPM package. And then also, you got your crates.io. Uh, so there you go. You can install it that way. Uh, you can install it directly on Orch Linux. You know, using the pacman command is included within the main repository of Orch Linux, which is, you know, super dope. You don't have to worry about getting it out the AUR or anything like that. So you can get it on your system, you know, directly if you're an Orch user. And then here are some of the dependencies down here. You can go through these, check it out or whatever. And then here are the features, you know, and like I said, I'm, I'm going to just kind of show you the features once we get to it. Uh, IP geolocation location and network you know providers uh support application layer protocols keyboard shortcuts so they do have some shortcuts for it. uh troubleshooting and cool that's pretty much it and then here's the main website for it they have their own website so super dope same information you know what i'm saying put out there for you so you can get as much information as possible and of course i had this link down in the description as well now let's go on and hop over to my virtual machine we can get this thing installed all right, so I'm connected to my Ubuntu 22.04 system, desktop edition. Uh, and let me go down and show you guys how to get it installed. All we have to do is go to the website, 
uh the github page that's the easiest way to get it and then download the dev package so we can go right here you know from github then go down here and look for our dev package and amd64 that's the one we want so we can just click on that that'll download our dev package and it's just going to open up that location uh but we can close out the site but it's two ways to install it now one thing you can do is right click on it and then hit open with another application and then all you have to do is open it up with software install hit select that's your software center that'll install the debian package for you you know what i'm saying you could do it that way or you can also you know open up your terminal and what i'd like to do is uh cd to the directory where it's located boom so it's in the downloads directory and the command is basically sudo uh d package and let's tab it out but then dash i before install and then the package name so the package name was let's verify what it is i just want to make sure what it is uh, let's hit cancel right there so sniff net so all we have to do is type sniff net you know for the dev package press enter that'll install it but i'm gonna show you guys the easy way i just wanted to at least show you guys the two ways to install it but once you install it that way you can uninstall it using the app package manager just so you guys know just hit apps uh and then remove so sudo apps remove and then the package name once it's installed so uh let's go down and close the terminal i'm gonna just go down and get it installed this way so you guys can see it and get it installed and let's wait for it to actually come up yeah and you'll see the software center you know kind of pull up also you want to make sure your system is updated so you want to run your sudo app to update you know and sudo app to upgrade and that'll install it but as you can see it'll pull it up boom all we have to do is hit install it's going to ask you for your sudo password type that in press enter and then just wait for the board to go across it's going to tell you that it's fully installed and you can uninstall it from here too as well all you got to do is hit that delete button and so let's close it out and actually find that application right fast so all we have to do is go to our show applications and we should be able to see sniffnet under here yeah there we go so just hit sniffnet that'll go down and open it up for us and the first thing you want to do as soon as it comes up is select your interface yeah basically your network adapter um, and by default it'll go down and select your main network adapter which is giving you your ip address and all that stuff to the internet and you can select some filters over here on the right uh your ip version you can check ip version 4 or you can only look at ip version 6 and then as well as your transport protocol so tcp udp or both and then you can also filter by a application so look at that you know what i'm saying you got all your different applications under here that you could look at so select that interface and like i said it's got the loop back it's got the bluetooth monitor you know uh that's pretty much the main ones i wanted to kind of show you and all you have to do is hit store it and it will start monitoring your traffic as you can see it'll bring up that graph <laughs> which is super cool uh it's super dope as you can see on the overview you got a lot of information so basically the network adapter we selected any filters that we selected will show up here uh data presentation so you could do bytes or you could do packets you can select that that'll show you packets versus bytes uh but we can leave it at bytes but also here we go network host so this is some information about the system so that's the ip address the gateway you know basically a route and all all the ips associated with the network that you connected to as well as the application protocol so you see mdns and then dns as well so boom that's a lot of information right there under the overview now let me break down this tab right here so there is an inspect tab and essentially this provides you know a lot more information including you know ip addresses uh packet counts uh data amounts as well as the country you know of origin so as you can see there's our country this is our local right here and as you can kind of see this is perfect for understanding like your network behaviors and spotting uh suspicious activity so that's what this is used for you know it's super awesome uh you can filter you can do your filters right up in here uh application protocol calls again domain names uh, autonomous system names uh look at that uk just popped up in there <laughs> so that's crazy right there but this is a whole lot of information you know you can get from under here and this is another cool thing i want to show you guys you know you can open up a full report there's a text file being generated right now with all this information you know which is super cool to see 
and I'll just click on it so you can open it up and see. But as you can see, that's all that information that we was gathering, you know, from this uh, system currently. So in case you need to run it through some other tools or, you know, verify IP addresses or look for certain things, then this is great to have that report on hand. Now, let me show you guys this last tab, which I think is good for you guys. You can enable notifications right now. It's not enabled by default. You know, after enabling this, the page will display a log of your notifications. So you can enable it by going into the settings. And you can turn on what you want. So notify me when packet thresholds is exceeded. Notify me when byte threshold is exceeded. Uh, notify me when new data or exchanged from my favorites. So you can uh, set those uh, notifications there. And I was going to go to the settings anyway, uh, which just brings it up. So let's just uh, show you guys some more. But they do have some different styles. So if you like different colors for the application, you can change that up if you want to. As well as language, you can modify the language if you want to. So uh, that's mainly what you'll see under the settings once you go into the settings. Um, uh, actually, let's turn on one of them. Uh, just show you guys. So threshold, you can set your threshold. You can do a sound uh, depending on the threshold. I just want to show you guys those options as well on the notification. So I'm not going to activate it, but that's fine. So as you can see, this is an awesome application. And from what it looks like, it's time to level up your network monitoring game. So definitely check out this application. Of course, again, I had a link down in the description of the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techy.